When analyzing data with SPM or any other fMRI analysis package, it can be easy to get lost of what you're doing for each of these different analyses. However, with SPM, it keeps track of everything that's gone into a particular analysis and writes this out into a structure called SPM in all caps. So to see this, there are actually a few different scripts within the SPM library which will allow you to see what each of the different fields specify. One of the most important ones is something called SPM underscore SPM. So I'm in a directory which has already estimated a model. And if I load SPM into memory, just type load SPM, and then the SPM structure, you'll see all these different subfields like XY, XX, and so forth. So it can be a little confusing, but they have detailed information about what each of these mean inside these scripts. So for example, at the top of the SPM underscore SPM, all of this commented information contains information about what each of these fields mean. So X, capital X, if we scroll down, that's a structure with design matrix information. So if I look within SPM XX, you can see that there is all this information here, and there's additional details in each of these substructures. Now for first level analyses, you also have additional information about things like the basis function. So I'm going to go into an individual subjects directory here and load their SPM. So you can see that it has XY, XBF, and this is contained in a script called SPM underscore fMRI design. So XY is the data structure, XBF is the basis function, which contains information about what was convolved with each of your events. Lastly, when you actually load up an SPM.mat file and you run things like a contrast on it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Look at the results, load the SPM.mat file, and then let's say I'm interested in a particular contrast. Alright. So if I look at the current cluster right here, what's happened after I've loaded up this contrast is a structure called XSPM has been updated. So if you look at this, this provides information about the contrast that you're looking at. It tells you the present working directory, it tells you the title of the contrast you've just loaded up, the statistic, how many degrees of freedom are associated with it, and additional information about the contrast, full width half max, and many other things. So to get information about each of these fields, look at this script called SPM underscore get SPM right here. So it'll tell you information about the XCON or contrast matrix, all the subfields with all these different structures, and you'll get a better sense of what's going on when you load XP SPM files into memory. I hope this helps, and if you click on the link below, it'll provide you links to the information for each of these scripts.